this video, I'm going to make a copy of this master system diskette, DOS XL, for the industry T drive. In order to do this, I'm going to use my DOS, which is what I'm going to boot from. The copy is going to be stored in a new double density disk image right there in drive 3, and the blank one drive through is in actuality uh, the Indus itself. So I'm going to turn on the computer and boot to DOS first. This is booting from the SIO to PC, as you can see. And now DOS has been initialized on the computer. I'm using my DOS 4.5.0. And the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that the disk in disk 3 is set for double density. So I'm going to set double density D3 colon comma GB. <clears throat> now that it's set for double density, I'm going to initialize the disk. I imagine it initializes the disk when you duplicate it, but we're just going to initialize it anyway. And we have 1,027 free sectors on this disk image, which I guess it is now referring to as ED. We'll see what we get. What I'm going to do now is take the system diskette from the Indus GT and insert it in the drive. And that drive is D2, and our image is on D3. So I'm going to duplicate the disk, and the source will be D2, 2, D3. Now we wait a while. You could read the auxiliary. This is the stuff being copied from the actual disk itself. And you'll hear when it loads it onto the file, it'll show um, D3 instead of disk, disk 3 instead of disk 2. And this process will repeat for some time till it gets to the end. This drive always goes back to track 37. It's finished making an image of the disk. I should note that because the disk was single density, there was a format that occurred and changed our image back to single density 90K, even though I had set it for double density. What I want to do simply is now give this disk a name so I'll be able to reference what it is and I'm going to call it indus-gt underscore dos xl dot ad atr and click OK. Now I have this disk image from that master disk. So in order to test it, I'm simply going to, and I apologize for the focus on the laptop, it, it does get quite difficult. I'm going to move this up as drive one and take this computer and now reboot it and boot off the copy of that master disk. DOS. And there we have it, a perfect copy in an image file of the master disk. Thanks for watching.